today, how it's done, 101. We're gonna talk about agility. That's it, and we nailed it. And quick twitch muscle groups. Okay, so agility is really important. It helps with your balance, your flexibility, and your control. So in movement, it helps keep your body in space in the correct place, okay? Alignment, um, proper muscular function. So it's just something that you want to be mindful of. And agility training, which you'll see today in a cardio workout, consists of quick twitch muscle groups where your body has to stop and rebound on a dime, change direction. You can think why that would be important in life, okay? Like, when you fell down the stairs. Like when I fell down the stairs. She had to bring that up. She had to bring that up. Yeah. Okay, let me just paint the picture. Let me paint the picture. Okay, I'll paint the picture. The house is crazy. There's pasta boiling all the stove. One kid's crying because she can't do math right now because it's bath time. The other kid has earphones on. The doorbell's ringing, and I'm running down the stairs. I live in a townhouse with four floors, okay? Each set of stairs has 13 stairs. So I'm running down the stairs and I overshot. I thought I was at the bottom and went to take that last step. There was like five or six steps left. I don't know what I was thinking. And I went boom. Yeah. So had I had your agility been on point, had I been agility training, I probably would have been able to rebound a little bit quicker. Get your body in the right place at in the space, right time at the right time. I mean it could have been a lot worse. It's okay. Right? Like the bone went because not been here today. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. But it's important with winter coming on ice, for example, when you're out walking and then you know you hit a patch of ice, <laughs> the ability to be able to stop yourself really quick, tighten that core, engage, and rebound, realign, and save yourself a really embarrassing spill <laughs> comes from your agility training. Start, stop, quick twitch. So that's why agility drills are really important. You'll notice in today's workout, today's cardio core workout, we have a lot of quick twitch type movements that'll help with that. And that's how it's done. One, one, oh, one. one. Hey, body rockers, welcome back. We're on week four, so close to Christmas. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about what we're getting for ourselves? <laughs> She has two. It's, it's important. It's just all about us, really. It's important. <laughs> we paid our dues and gifts to them. I just want gold. Where's you all of our cash? Where's the cash, man? <laughs> Give me money for your gold. gold. <laughs> Only if you're Canadian. <laughs> you know who the cash man is. <laughs> He's awesome. He wants to go to his Woodbridge location, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just sure, south of 401. Yeah. Okay, anyways. So you want gold. gold? I want gold. I'd like a bike. I don't know if I want the Peloton. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. I'm like a research girl. I want gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know I what's gold. worth it. these days. The Peloton oh, might be worth more. It's like gold. Like, it's like gold. Okay, if you could give me a Peloton bike with gold pedals, I'm in. I like that. Or gold like shoes. It. Gold shoes. I like that. Yeah. Okay, I want that whole thing package. Yeah. Gold yeah. shoes, Peloton bike, black on black on black, gold pedals. <gasps> yes. Make it so. Yeah. Make it so. And that. Okay, Christmas is right around the corner. <laughs> we are on day, no sorry, week four. Day one. Day one. We're gonna work on our core. We really need it in tip top shape because Christmas is coming, let's be honest. Who doesn't like to start the day with a little bit of <laughs> coffee? <laughs> coffee with okay. Bailey's. Or egg on Bailey's. Or Bailey's with Bailey's. <laughs> Not everyone starts the day with a black towel, right? <laughs> Some people even. Only in the week of Christmas. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so here we go. 30 cool. second movements for this warm up. Same as we've always done, but fresh new warm up. So watch out for these new moves. And we're working on those agility moves. Yeah. Uh, here we go. 30 good. seconds on. Let's go. Seal jack. What's that? It's a seal jack. It's a jumping jack to a seal jack. Oh. Sideways, forward, 
backwards, rotation. Right here, we're really stretching over the sides. Think of flaring the rib cage. And then we're gonna stay nice and low and bring it into a cross body punch. Try to really connect on that punch. Think of hitting something and then bouncing your hand right back to the midline of your body. And that back foot pivots on the ground. It's a little bit of glute activation there. Boosters, temples, warming up. If you need to slow it down, slow it down. But I think by now, we build up a little bit of endurance. And we're good with this. Four. Ice fingers. Two. And one. one. All right. So we're bounding laterally from side to side, reaching that hand across the body, warming up. Our lateral swings. Two seconds left here. So notice going sideways. And we're feeding a bit here. All I'm thinking about is that black hole, black hole, black hole. Not black. black. <laughs> All right, next. Mountain climbing. Coming down, down, down to the ground, hands below the shoulders, okay? Start in that fourth point, bear hover. Run your knees. Loose. You watch the timing. You want to keep your gaze down at your hands. Try not to let your head hang down too much here. And push through those palms. You don't want those. Shoulders up at your ears. No one earrings push today. Yeah. Push Three, through the palms. Two and one. Woo. Okay. Flip it over for hip thrusts. You want your heels nice and close to your butt. Dig them into the ground and the lift. This warms up your glutes, your hamstrings, that entire posterior chain. We want to stay out of our back, okay? And that front and line. Extending the hip flexors. <clears throat> Remember not to push too far to the top, don't overextend. Squeeze your butt. the glute so that you stop the movement. Woo! Uncheck, that's it. Right next, windmill. So oh, stay right here. here. We're going to come up. Oh, yeah. And side. Again. Yeah. To side. Rotating. Woo! If you have tight hips, this is a nice one. If this is too difficult, you can always. Angle those knees. Stagger. This stagger. Gonna work. Two. One last one. Cat cow. Flip it over. Together. We're all gonna start with the cow. So round. Oh, sorry. The cat runs back up towards the ceiling. Let your head hang down. Take a nice big inhale. Get forward. Let everything hang down. What is it? Otters? Otters? <laughs> Otters. Ones. Ones. Not otters. Other. Not otters. Round it out. I'm going to tap that tailbone. Round, round, round. Push Think of pushing your palms into the ground. Yeah. Burn. Last second. Woohoo! Okay. Okay. okay, here we go. 35 second movements, 15 second rest. We're starting with reverse lunge to oh, drop squat. Oh, man! Grab a band. You want to do it in the first one? Let's demo first. So first band, no band. First round, no bands. Okay, so we And then drop <laughs> squat. Reverse. So we're going to add those core bands in the second round. So wherever you got to go to grab them, go get those core bands. You guys are ready for it. Week three, week four, sorry. Where are core bands up? Core bands! Core bands! Where are you, core bands? Core bands! Anybody? Somebody? Okay. Anybody? Okay, two. One, while Jessie gets her core band. I'm gonna start with that squat, drop back into a lunge, alternating from side to side. All right, I'm progressing it with the black core band. And if you use it, you know how badass it is. Woo. Santa, Santa! Ah! Okay, awesome, thank you all. If you wanna add the bands, but that hop is too much, you can slow it down, still use the band, be sure you don't let the band pull your knees together, okay? Good sliding up these shaggy pants. Woo! There's a price to pay for shiny pants. Jesus! Have mercy on my shiny pants. Okay, we're back in eight seconds. Now that our bands are in place, we have got a moment of breathing during recovery. Here we go. Right leg, back, drop, squat, and back. Right, so you're sliding up. Oh, yeah. Italy doesn't slide up, I swear.
sweaty legs, shiny pants. Woo! Almost there. We are halfway through this set. Oh, go higher. This is me. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming. Dory said it best. Just keep swimming. swimming.
How can I tell? That works with you. Here we go. Good turn back. So let's see. Alright, 10 seconds. Reach over. Get that reach in. Almost there. Well done. Yeah. Boom. I like week four. Week four is fun. <laughs> four on the floor. So you might be a little confused. How come you're not doing crunches? Good question. Your core, keep working. Your core is actually from here all the way down here. So it encompasses all the muscles in your back, your shoulders, and your glutes. So by moving all of those muscle groups, you're working your core. Okay? So it doesn't have to just look like crunches on the ground. Ten seconds, see what does. Feel the burn. Woo! Three, two, one. Woo! One more round of those. I like ice skaters. Me too. So good. I feel like it. We didn't do anything this year. We need to restart 2020, okay? That's what we're going to do. Let's call it 2020. Let's call it 2020.0. No, I refuse to age another year for this. That's true. I feel cheated. I'm not taking a hit for this. No way, man. I'm going back. Back. Turn back the clock. We need to find that fountain. Rewind. This is it. Yes. Do you even pay attention to your birthday? No. Like, how old we are. I forget how old I am. The kids still. do the math. I gained like two years, two years ago. <laughs> that sucks. Two years ago. First two years older than you thought. I hate that. I like it when it's the other way around. I thought I was turning older. Oh. Yeah. Really? That might be the three kids. Now that my kids know how to use calculator, they can do math. They oh, remind right. me how old no. I am. Okay. But it's cool crunch. Ooh. Where are we Okay, this is all the way down. Okay, so hands behind the head, and it's just a light grip on the neck. We're not really pulling on the neck. We're rotating through the thoracic to the upper back as we bring one elbow to the opposite knee. Think of shooting the opposite toe long and away, creating sort of a pull and push sensation. Five seconds. Three. See here? Just hold it. Okay, let's feel like your hands. Too much left to get to build up. I can't do any more. Just hold it. Start or hold. You're still doing the work. I got you again. Tell them that you're there. great. So we're going to take these this one. around the arches of our feet. Okay? We'll give you something to pull and push in. See so what she gets in the black one? Do you want the white one? No. <laughs> It's nice to have a little spice in our room. So I feel like when you have the bands, you definitely need to slow it down and focus more on your core. To get the crunch. And think about, of course, you were like kind of explaining that bringing the elbow to knee. But again, when you're doing core work and kneeing at the top, whoop, you want to drive with that shoulder. That way it will prevent you from pulling your head forward. Think about bringing that shoulder up. And if you have the band, you're obviously not going to get your elbow all the way to the knee. I think of bringing that lower rib cage closer to the opposite hip. See? Shortening that space. Rolling just across the back of your shoulder blades. Just coming off the ground. Do it! If I had a mat, I'd keep on me. <laughs> problems. First row, actually, third row problems. First, second, third. Oh! Oh! Okay. Five okay. seconds. We got this. Woo! Oh, Ooh. slingshot. Okay. I love this band. I do love the band. I think you're putting everyone's stockings. Okay, line punches. So we need dumbbells. Let's go to the dumbbells. Okay. So we're going to come down to the ground with our dumbbells, our hex dumbbells. Beautiful, beautiful hex dumbbells. Shoulder blades are connected to the ground, and knees are just bent, soles of the feet flat on the ground, and we're just punching to the midline. What are we working here, Tammy? 
we're working our core stability. So we're making sure we're not flopping around from side to side. We're also working tops of our shoulders, anterior delts. And if yeah. you rotate slightly, you get a little yeah. bit of <laughs> You're I'm doing rotating. it? Yeah. I'm doing it. Woo! Woo! We're feeling those forearms as well. Keep that thing. Keep your core tight. Woo! Yeah. And so down. I feel like as I fatigue back under my back, I want to be doing like this. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. This Don't is what we talked, we've talked about in the one on one core yeah. engagement, right? The pelvic tilt. Tilting keep it down. Thank you. Keep that back. Watch. Those back ribs heavy. Okay? Okay. And we're also going to be working the top of our chest here. So if you extend and hold, you should feel the top of your pec Definitely. activate. Definitely. So you might need to slow it down in order to really light up that activation, I find. Light it up! <laughs> or add more resistance. It's a tricep work too. So depending on how much weight you have, if you're working with 10, you can go slower and hold. If you're working with 5, you can burn it out nice and quick, okay? Just do not drop the weight on the money maker. Oh, yeah, over your chest. Important point. Hovering over your chest, not over your face. Watch where you put that thing. <laughs> and, uh, oh, sorry. I mean, Watch. Not over your face, for sure. Not over your face. She thinks she's funny. Can someone tell her she's not? I'm the funny one. Don't laugh. And for sure. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, another great point. Find an accountability partner that makes you want to do this. Okay? Someone that you enjoy spending time with. Woo! Are you watching the clock? I feel like it's just yeah, you get clocked and I'm double upping the time. <laughs> double upping, is that a word? Doubling? Doubling, doubling. Double dutching. Double, double, double dutching. That means something that we should probably should be saying. What's, what's double dutching? Double dutching. Do you know I only just learned? Actually, we can't talk about that on the camera. That's for later. Later. All right. Frog stomps. I learned that truffle guys. butter is not a topping. <laughs> I did not. I didn't know that. Frog stomps. So we're getting low. This is like a, like a what, duck walk kind of thing? Tire the sumo squat. Okay. And then you're stomping it up. Stay here. Yeah. And she wears a pretty dress. Oh man, and I got her. Well, the best day ever because her birthday and that stuff just made her baby. Walking through the gift shop, touching everything. <laughs> you get ballet for her? No, you get no. Get ballet. We had Uber. And yeah. what she remembered from the show was the ballet event. And it was that I let her stay up late, eat whatever she wanted, buy whatever she wanted. <laughs> Exercise. You got your arms, you got your chest, you got your core, you got your legs. Dropping all the way down. I'll give you five feet. I like it. Pop on the top. Drop. Okay. Dropping those legs in and jumping up. 
So drop all the way down. Hop your legs in and finish up. It is the best exercise there is for total body conditioning. If you hate it, learn to do it. Do that bit alternate for people who might not be able to do that? So no. glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing it! Done. That's your you're doing it! Okay, you can slow it down. Jump. Take your hands to the ground. Walk it out. Slowly lower down. Okay? Walk one foot in and jump. So staying with the same movement patterns, just slowing it down mm. so we can eventually get there. Now do that again. A little hop at the top. Hands come down to the ground with a nice flat back. Walk your legs out. Lower down. Come on up. Six seconds. Up. Or walk. Close feet in. Take them back to the jump. <sighs> Woo! I, know. I totally wanted to say no, you just Water. didn't. Water. Water. Water boy. You guys, drink that H2O. <laughs> Look Seriously. how much sweat is the game changer. cooling for everything. That should be a one on one. What? Water. Water. So, water. It's all water. 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 That's not what I drink. Sure. sure. It's supposed to be Dino Amino Ever. Dino. What's your reason? Red or white? Red. 100%. I can't even drink white. So, this past summer, I learned I like red wine chill. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Let's make it a thing. Last five seconds. And then we did it. One. I kind of like the fact that I'm having a hard time talking because you know that you're not alone. Yeah. Even though we do this all the time, we're recording it, we still feel challenged. What you put into your workout is what you get out of it always. And by taking a workout that's meant for a beginner, adding a couple toys, the core band, dumbbells, speeding up the tempo, can make it not a beginner workout. So I hate classifying it, but no, no, yeah. It's all what you make it. If you've been to like a spin class before, you'll see people in there that aren't really, you know, maybe just starting out. It's like, so easy. Like, I don't know why people come to this. Not the you right have to do the proper progression. Okay, so you know what challenges you. We've talked about that fine line between uh, pushing yourself too hard and then knowing what's like a great challenge. So yeah, there's a big difference between muscle so activation curve. and pain. A lot of people, once they start to feel any sort of muscle activation, or I feel like. Yeah, they're like, oh, you really need to realize the difference. Pain is usually acute and like as a result of blunt force or fall or prior injury. When you're working your muscle, what's actually happening is you are tearing and lengthening to grow new muscle. So you will feel a little bit of discomfort. But eventually, when your form starts to change in the mirror and you start to like what you see, you're gonna you're gonna hunger for that. And really. like what you feel, yeah. Yeah, I get mad sometimes if like I don't feel my glutes after a bum workout or leg days. I don't like to walk properly the next day. You should yeah, be walking, it's buddy. It's right? True. Yeah, you should be. So that that's kind of like a good cue the next day. If you feel a little bit of ache, it almost sometimes feels if you do a full body workout like you're getting the flu. I know it sounds terrible. But like you'll be thanked for it. It'll Thank get better. For it It'll get better. Now make sure that you're not sick. Like no other symptoms. <laughs> you just did a really intense workout and like a lot of strength kind of stuff. But you will it could be body weight. Yeah. yeah. Eventually you'll start to get better, and then your your challenge then becomes how do I get that sensation now that I'm conditioned? So we need to start adding on to our workout. You know, if you do this workout three times and all three times it's easy, then you need to add something on. And by that, by adding on, you increase your your output. You're increasing what you're getting out of the workout, and you can keep adding things on. That tuck jump, you can go explosive. For the reverse lunge with drop squat, you can add a band. Okay. So another way to progress it is um, decrease stability. So hop on the balance trainer, add a yoga ball, go on one foot, isolate on one, one side, on one foot. Say that you're on that. <laughs> I'm always there. And you know what, this is the perfect segue. It's something we need to talk about and maybe we'll sit down and talk about it later. 
recovery. Okay, so after a workout like this, yes, the next day you will feel sore. So there's tips and tricks that you can put into place and make it part of your regimen. There's like a sweat drip. <laughs> you can put, put it into your daily regime, regimen. How do you say that word? Regime. Regime. You can add it as part of your daily regime to help with recovery. A really, really great simple one is vitamin C. Vitamin C helps with muscle recovery. Did you know that? And water, water, water. 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 Someone, someone always, like someone Look at me, how much water she's yeah, using right now. Look at all this lost water. Yesterday, yesterday, the day before, someone posted a picture on Instagram and the, the comments weren't about what I was doing, what I was wearing. It was like, what's your skin regime? I just drink a lot and of water. And fish. And fish. Yeah. Because you're constantly cleaning, cleansing your skin. Yeah. It's pushing everything out. All of the impurities, all of the toxins, like there's so much baggage we carry around, like from the from the environment. The radicals. Yeah. yeah. From what we eat. Like other people's stuff. I know it like, out. Yeah, if I don't do this kind of workout for a while, I will notice my skin kind of starts to gray, it starts to get dark in areas, it like starts to build things up. If I'm constantly doing like a sweaty workout like this, fresh skin. Honestly. Get rid of the crap. Get rid of the crap. Get rid of the crap. Let's just uh, brush our shoulders off. So. <laughs> Alright, so you guys show up for tomorrow, day two of week four. So awesome that you made it this far and if you're a little bit behind if you're watching this into January don't worry about it just finish the dang thing okay and then do it again and again we'll have again, more for again, you and again that's right let's go write our list to Santa because I want gold all right gold shoes okay